Take a look at this. It's something that popped up in my social feeds. One reason I don't understand in this picture, only one of these young men got to walk away that day. I mean, one is clearly armed and dangerous approaching the police you see, and the other man, Jacob Blake, is walking away from police. All right, so we got one guy who's totally armed, right? Walking towards police. You got people screaming, he shot two people. Police, he shot two people. He gets to walk home that night. While we have Jacob Blake, on the other hand, who walks away from a couple of officers and ends up paralyzed because one of those officers shoots him in the back seven times. Now, this isn't new to us. Philando Castile, George Floyd, Michael Brown, Alton Sterling. I mean, I think to myself, wow. What if it was me? I mean, it could have been me. They look like me. Feel the right. Here's why, and now I have a better understanding of what upsets me about this so much. But I read this one study that found that black men are 3.5 times more likely to be killed by law enforcement than whites. Okay, so to put this in perspective, each year, Police are responsible for about 8% of all homicides with an adult male between 2012 and 2018. But get this, if you're a white guy, you've actually got a better chance than I do to survive if we were to interact with police. Another study I read by the American Public Health Association says, out of every 100,000 black men in America, up to 2.4 can expect to die at the hands of police. That's an increase from the 0.7 white men who could expect to die in an encounter with police. But it goes even deeper than just police violence. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! This is why we see marches in Washington, New York City, here in Tampa. People even pack the streets all over the world, y'all, during a worldwide pandemic to say, all of this has got to stop. So I was a black boy with a mom who served on the police force for 30 years, okay? And she always told me, Bari, there are good cops and there are bad cops. So we just need help weeding out the bad ones. Until then, that is why we keep talking about this. Do all lives matter? Yes, of course they do. But this is why black lives matter.